That is definitely not a dumb question. Uh, the question of what long COVID is is unclear to a lot of scientists, and there are lots of different definitions and ways of thinking about long COVID. Long COVID is sort of a catch-all term for symptoms that don't resolve quickly. So most of the time when you get an infection, it resolves in the matter of days or a few weeks. Long COVID is when you have persistent symptoms that persist for longer. The CDC says that long COVID can start sort of after a month if symptoms are continuing. The WHO or the, the World Health Organization uh, puts that timeline more on the order of three months. But in general, long COVID is describing when symptoms are still happening, even though sort of the acute phase of the virus is passed. So the, the symptoms for long COVID range quite a bit, uh, and a lot of people experience long COVID differently. On the milder side, long COVID could mean that you just still kind of have a cough for many weeks after the initial infection. On the more serious end of things, it can be a range of symptoms from brain fog that makes it really difficult to concentrate, really debilitating fatigue that doesn't get better through rest, exercise intolerance, and a lot of these symptoms get worse with mental and physical activity. So it can be, for people who are living with it, it can really transform and, and diminish their lives. Scientists have had trouble getting a handle on long COVID because it's kind of a mysterious, diffuse disease that has a range of kind of mysterious symptoms. But there are some leading hypotheses for sort of what's going on and what's causing it. And they likely aren't mutually exclusive. So it's likely that long COVID isn't just one thing, but it's many things. Um, one of the major theories is that in a subset of people who get long COVID, those symptoms are stemming from their body's not fully clearing the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So it might be hiding out in some tissues somewhere and causing symptoms that way. Another theory is that something about the SARS-CoV-2 infection kind of throws people's immune systems out of whack and they kind of get revved up into overdrive and end up making people feel sick even though there's no virus there that needs to be fought still. Another theory is that micro, microscopic blood clots might be causing long COVID symptoms. That's something that the, the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus does is make these little blood clots and that could be kind of wreaking cellular havoc in people with long COVID. And there are theories that things like the gut microbiome might be thrown out of whack by infection and that's what's leading to some of these symptoms. It's likely that any given person with long COVID might have a number of these things going on and they can kind of work together uh, in, in sort of a bad synergy to, to create these, these long COVID symptoms. Is there a treatment for long COVID? There are many different kinds of treatments that are kind of in the early stages of use and development. Because long COVID is likely not just a single thing, but many different things, a lot of different treatments might help. Some people have sort of heart problems um, and arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats with, uh, with long COVID, and some medications can help that. Um, some people develop diabetes because of COVID, and medications can address that. For some of the more mysterious symptoms, like brain fog, there aren't as many well-validated treatments for that and uh, something that is helpful for a lot of people with long COVID is just kind of like coaching to try to learn how to live with their symptoms and manage their activity so they don't overdo it and then end up feeling really bad. So your best bet of avoiding long COVID is not getting COVID in the first place. Um, and your best way of doing that is by getting, by getting vaccinated. And there is some indication that being vaccinated um, does protect you from getting long COVID to a certain extent if you get a COVID infection after being vaccinated. 